Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that performance? Thank you. I feel great. I couldn't feel better. Is that kind of how you pictured the fight going tonight, or, or did you anticipate a different kind of fight with him? No, that's uh, exactly how I saw the fight going. I knew that uh, I had to outsmart him, be quicker, be smart, because uh, I'm better than him everywhere, uh, striking, grappling. He, he's just he's just a very strong guy, and uh, he likes to brawl. So the one thing that I couldn't do was uh, brawl with him. So I, I kept the game plan, and everything went according we planned it. There weren't any surprises with anything that he did in there? Uh, the calf kick hurt me a little bit, and he was pretty strong. That's it. So speaking of those kicks, you know, we saw his, uh, his leg. When you saw that in the third round, was that just like, this is how I'm going to end the fight? Or, or what, were you think what were you thinking when you noticed that injury? I knew uh, if, he could, if he could keep uh, taking those kicks, uh, I knew I was going to chat up, and uh, he, he couldn't take much longer, you know, because every kick I was landing, I was, okay, this was a hard one. Okay, this was a hard one. I could feel it was hard, you know. I could feel that uh, he was getting hurt, so I just kept uh, just kept kicking. And every time he went back to the corner, I was looking at his calf. I could see, like, the bruise and the swollen on his calf. So, okay, that's that's uh, could be a a way to win this fight, you know. Then I was like faking the calf kick and going for the push kick in the face and th that was close also. Sometimes you hear fighters say that when there's a cut, they smell blood and they kind of turn on. Did you feel that way when you saw that injury? I felt that way when, uh, when, I, when, I, when I landed the kick in the third round and he laid down, I say, okay, now I'm, I'm gonna finish this fight. Did the, the two of you speak at all after the fight? I uh, just told him, uh, welcome to the UFC, and thanks for taking the fight because nobody wanted to, take, to step in a short notice, you know. So I respect him. He is a warrior, and that's what I told him. And after the fight, you called out Dan Hooker. Can you explain to me um, a little bit more about that call out, why you want to fight him so much? Man, I think that would be a great fight, and uh, he trains with Brad Riddell. I was supposed to fight Brad Riddell. Uh, Brad Riddell pulled out, so I think it would be good if he stepped in a uh, if he if he could replace Brad, that I think that would would be amazing. You know, I don't know why he's ranked so high because uh, he doesn't fight much often. Uh, he lost he lost a couple of fights, you know, and uh, he pick he pick his fights. You know, he doesn't want to. Look, I I fight anybody. I, anybody they put in front of me, I fight. I never say no to anybody, and uh, he he chooses too ma too many fights. You know, so I think it would be a good fight. I think it would be a good matchup, and there could be a main event also, a UFC fight night. I think that would be great. How do you see the fight going between the two of you? Uh, I would finish him submission. And when would you like to see that fight happen? Do you have a, a timeline of when you'd like to fight again? A June would, would be great. Any location in mind or anywhere? Uh, here in Vegas. Thank you. Tiago, congratulations on a great performance. <clears throat> Wanted to ask, we saw your frustration from your placement on the card. If you can tell us a little bit about that and where would you like to see yourself on the next fight? Uh, one thing that I don't understand why those guys, they, they sign the contract if they don't, that, that uh, they're not going to fight, you know. So we put a lot, a lot of work, you know, towards uh, training camp. Uh, we spend a lot of money, a lot of energy. So... And they know that they, they're not gonna fight, you know, so why, why are you gonna sign the contract? So I, I get very mad with this, you know. I saw Brad, he, he was injured, he was still training, he was still coaching, so I got pretty upset. And I got pretty upset also because nobody wanted to step in. And uh, we had like six, five, six weeks, that's, that's plenty, plenty of time for you to take a fight, you know. So if you are a professional, you train every day, twice a day, Five weeks, it's enough for you to take a fight. So nobody wanted, to, you know, nobody in the ro roster wanted to step in. They, they had to sign a new guy. You know, uh, no disrespect to Bryce Mitchell, I respect to him, but uh, like I fought Benoit Saint Denis, I fought Islam Makachev, Benio Jarush, and I had to fight this new guy today. You know, so I wasn't too happy about it. And even though he is debuting on the UFC today. How difficult was it for you to, you know, switch game plans to such a different style of opponent in such a short notice? You know, uh, the game plan didn't change too much. You know, uh, my game, game plan with, with Brad would be the same. 
striking to him, uh, making him forget about the takedown and mix it up, you know. If, uh, if I fight with Brad Riddell, the fight would look as exactly the same as look at tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. With, um, I know it's kind of, uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Absolutely dominant performance. Once you were able to take him down, it just seemed like you were just, you know, you, you showed your dominance. You showed that, that there's levels to this. But what do you think, in your opinion, is, is the issue here? Do the fighters in the top 15, top 20 want to protect that number? It, you're too much of a risk. You know, not the reward is there. Uh, you know, the people don't stay active, like you mentioned. What do you think is the problem with, with guys – you know, not wanting to fight or not wanting to step up? I think the problem is, uh, yeah, that's, that's one problem. People, they, they don't want to fight who is behind them, and they just want a good fight for their style, you know? Uh, so I'm a striker. This guy is a wrestler. I'm, I'm not going to fight him, you know? That's, that's what I think. I think if you are if you're an MMA fighter, mixed martial arts, you got to train everything and fight whoever they put in front of you. If you, wanna, if you are in the UFC, it's because you, you want to be the best in the world. If you want to be the best in the world, you've got to fight everybody. You are a fighter. That's, that's what you do. You fight. Totally agree. And just to co-sign on that, fa uh, that, that match, Dan Hooker fighting, you would be fantastic. 25 minutes, if it went that long, would be phenomenal. But if you don't get that one, you still want to get back in there June or July, or what's the, the time frame and your goals for 2024? Yeah, June, July would be good because I want to do two more fights this year. So if I fight June, July, I can do like two more this year. It would be awesome. Excellent. Thank you, sir, and congratulations on the win. Thank you.